Good morning, European traders. Ring the bell, people. The bears are back in town. Bears closed in the S&Ps yesterday. We saw that sucker uh, slip from uh, 16 down to 95, 27, 16 down to 95 in the last uh, half hour. Classic bearish action. Our little shorts uh, are doing all right. We got the structures on the downside, S&P and Facebook closed. And Facebook was up on the day, so it's kind of annoying. Uh, but still, below the trend line, and Tesla was unchanged, I think, down in the 333 area. Anyway, with the bears back in town, we come to our currency trades, and we go, hmm, things that make you go, hmm. The correlation recently is stocks lower, dollar higher. So... I don't see any reason why this doesn't continue. So Euro we should be able to uh, get down to 122 the figure now. At some point today. But the main theme of, of all this with this expected Euro weakness is going to be Euro crosses. So let's look at this euro sterling. We printed these 206 lows, kind of, kind of handy there. So we had the big red bar. We had, we tried to reverse, big tail on yesterday's day. We think this can get some momentum down through 8806. Uh, these monkeys. Uh, are going to be trying to solve the British Brexit puzzle, some sort of off-site Prime Minister May and her group. Uh, so there could be some headlines. I don't know how they're. I don't. I can't understand how they're positive, but who knows? Could be positive sterling headlines. If there are, this would accelerate euro sterling lower. Also, euro just moving in its uh, moving left today should help this trade. We like Euro Sterling lower. Still core short from yesterday, so keep that in mind. Maybe some bias creeping in there. Better chart than that is Euro Yen. We talked about 120, 131.60, which was the edge of this uh, sort of capitulatory bar. It turns out it wasn't really capitulatory at all. We've just been sideways inside this bar now for five, six days. Through 131.60 is going to yield this 200-day moving average, 131.09, and a break of that, which you could easily see happening with the stocks thundering lower. Um, and we're on to something. I mean, we've been talking about being on to something with Euro Yen for a while now. We're, we're you know, I, I feel like we're on to something again, and we're, it's about to begin again, so... We had that cheeky 57 print in Asia just to screw any sort of uh, first time break traders in the zone there. For me that just makes it even more powerful second time down. So take your momentum hats and put them on boys. 131.60 is in play. What else we got? You'd expect Aussie and Kiwi to be lower, but they're really not, they're not really doing all that much. The 200 day in Aussie's coming up, we'll have to keep an eye on that, 77, 72. It'll be a bit sad if we, f if we first start to get short Aussie through these range lows, 77, 60. But, this is what happens sometimes, you know, it's not like we miss this move, it's just like there weren't any clean signals, so you just have to be patient, suck it up. Dollar cat also key key levels. So we we traded through the year's highs. Keep in mind the year's not two months old yet, but we traded through the year's highs one one twenty six eighty nine. Uh, we've been up to oh five. The two hundred day is at oh eight. 
dollar CAD looks like it's going to go higher. I haven't checked the news. Is there any Canadian news out today? Could be a driver for us. Check that real quick. Um, one sec. Twenty seconds. Canadian. Oh, retail sales today. Retail trade in Canada and quarterly financial statistics for enterprises. Uh, the second one sounds too complicated for a spot trader. Um, let's watch this moving average here. Uh, we want um, we want Toronto playing for this trade, so kind of put it in the back pocket for now. Let's take a look at Dollar Rand. Turns out the market was thinking exactly what I was thinking yesterday, and so of course we did the opposite. Eleven fifty-eight, the low. Um, the budget came out, free education, awesome, raised VAT, good job, guys. Uh, the yield on the uh, bond and the czar bonds were lower. All looks really fine and dandy, um, but I just. I'm just skeptical. Sorry, South Africa. You've I've watched your currency go from three to fifteen. Um, pretty strong trend. I don't think uh, this is going to just turn around now. We have our nice pivot at 11.79. Um, through there, might as well just give it a shot, right? Uh, I don't know where the bad news is going to come from. It was easier when Zuma was around because there was always a scandal around the corner. But uh, we are going to try and get long the intrepid dollars are through this pivot. So we're going to wait for 11.80. So it's a percent, it's a percent and a half away. So actually, it's probably not going to happen today. But just putting it on the radar now. All right, I've said enough. Euro yen is the dog in the is our dog in the race today. Our horse in the race. Our dog. I don't know what that metaphor is. Euro yen's our dog today. Let's uh, get it right in our minds and trade it professionally. Take care, guys. See you in New York.